Noob Noob, is it finally time to pull the plug on Ezra Miller's The Flash? I just want to get blasted by Bad Fleck and Keaton. I say nay! Well, all right, all right, all right. This is Z and Noob Noob with Our Reviews Will Kill You, and we're going to discuss whether or not The Flash, the movie, should even exist or because should. the controversies should. just keep piling on. It should be a biopic of Ezra Miller's life. He's running around holding women and children hostage in Hawaii, <laughs> at this in Vermont. Point, at this point, it's, it's it's gone terrible. The villain in the Flash movie is his gay thoughts. Oh my gosh! And he's fighting his pronouns Apparently. for gender identity. It's a gender identity crisis movie. So uh, this is a recent article. Ezra's Miller, The Flash, canceled. Fans are calling for the cancellation of Ezra Miller's The Flash. It, things are getting real ugly. It's been quite a few years because it's been delayed several times. Do you remember when they were going to, it was actually going to be the Flash and uh, Cyborg? Oh, yeah. And then Cyborg canceled himself. Canceled himself. <laughs> yet to act again. Yeah. So after countless delays and personnel changes, the movie seems to finally be on track with Andy Muschietti at the helm. And the studio even managed to convince Ben Affleck and Mike, Michael Keaton to suit up as Dark Knights. But now Ezra Miller seems convinced he's going to destroy this movie. No matter what it takes, he's going to destroy it. He wants to. They can no longer ignore this. He needs to. He was arrested twice in Hawaii for disorderly conduct and second degree assault, which was bad enough. Now he's also been accused of physically and emotionally abusing an 18 year old named Gibson. Well, all right. And then there was another restraining order filed against him to protect another teenager that allegedly got agitated about the origins of the game Parcheesi. I'm so confused. Yes. They've already invested $200 million in this movie. They have, and there yeah. is no win. This is not a win-win situation. This is a lose-lose scenario. And there was reports, what, a couple weeks ago that this was the highest tested uh, DC movie and everyone loved it. Yes, but he is he worse? Is he... Who, who do they like least now? Amber Heard or him? Uh, I still think it's Amber Heard. Uh, that's tough to say. I mean, he hasn't been convicted of anything yet, right? Yeah, and he hasn't really done... and Well... I don't know. He hasn't done anything like massively terrible. Mm, well, it's getting a little bit worse. We're it's getting gonna... worse because he's fucking insane. Well, he recently deleted his Insta or his their Instagram account. And we're going to discuss a little bit why that uh, pronoun shift is a little troublesome from a legal perspective. Uh, so their legal, their Instagram account, they deleted it after uploading some strange images, including one that read, you cannot touch me. I am in another universe. <laughs> Okay. The gay one. <laughs> I mean, I don't know that that's true because he's been grooming some young I, women. I'm not sure what he is. Uh, very, very uh, strange. He was all. They already caused people to call in, and they're annoyed because they dropped Johnny Depp for basically doing nothing, versus now Ezra Miller, who is just out of freaking control. I don't even know. This article doesn't even have the newest thing that's happening. Let's go there now. <laughs> Ezra Miller reportedly housing a mom and three young kids at a farm with weed and guns lying around. This just happened. This is breaking news. This is according to the Rolling Stone. The actor has a mother of three and her three young children living with them where guns and drugs are rampant. This comes after the two restraining orders that were filed. He's, uh, it's, there's, uh, children aged one to five at their 96 acre farm. Okay. Let me read this sentence to you. Miller is reportedly hosting a 25 year old mother and her children aged one to five at their 96 acre farm in Vermont. Noob Noob, who owns this farm? I want to say Ezra Miller and the children. <laughs> so the mother's just being left the out of The mother is just a sex slave. Gotcha. Yeah. On one occasion, the one-year-old allegedly found a loose bullet and put it in her mouth. Apparently, she does not have their they-them <laughs> they, pronouns yet. 
Video footage reviewed by Rolling Stone, I guess, shows at least eight assault weapons, rifles, and handguns lying around in the living room. Some of the weapons propped up next to a pile of stuffed animals. Well, again, what they don't realize is that one-year-old identifies as a gun. So she's just <laughs> loading her cockpit. And she's just propped up against with the stuffed animals. Yeah, she, she just, identifies as a gun. Yeah, she's just loading her revolver. Oh, my gosh. The children's father participated for the story. As the two anonymous sources, the two anonymous sources confirm seeing their children... Wait, seeing children there with their mother describing a chaotic environment that is unsafe for children. My word. Dear Lord. So what else is going on here? <laughs> Apparently he met the woman in Hawaii. Hawaii has not been good to, to Ezra Miller. No. He apparently booked a flight out of Hilo for the women and her three children without the father's knowledge. He claims he hasn't been able to speak or see his children since they left in Isn't April. Isn't that kidnapping? One would think that was kidnapping. Yeah. He says, I am going through hell and back. I got a bad feeling in my stomach. I do want to get my kids. They mean the effing world to me. The man says he hasn't gone to the farm with the police or confronted Miller directly because he doesn't want his kids to see anything like that. He just wants to see them that, hey, dad showed up. Let's go in this car and go. Let's get in this car and go. Apparently, Miller's running a cannabis company and growing marijuana on what? the property. <laughs> oh, my God. And to the two sources allege that there has been frequent and heavy marijuana use in front of the children with little concern about proper ventilation. Vermont's Department of Children and Families reportedly visited Miller's home. And they're like, it's fine. They're like, yeah, don't worry about it. He offered us free weed. No, we, we they left. offered them free weed. It. Them offered it. them free weed. <laughs> Gay boy Miller. Last week, a mother and her 12-year-old non-binary child were granted temporary harassment prevention against Miller. So Miller disappeared, but people know where he... Isn't he under... Shouldn't he be extradited from his First Vermont? First why is a 12-year-old non-binary? I don't, I don't know. But shouldn't they be... Shouldn't them be extradited from their Vermont home? I thought there was a... a like, a, 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 the police were looking for Ezra Miller. They know where he is now. They know he's on his weed farm. Maybe he just... His, their weed farm. Maybe he identifies <laughs> as farm. his own country, so he has his own rules. <laughs> he's he's his sovereign. Own rules. Oh, my gosh. Uh, the parents accuse, accuse Miller of grooming the child at age 12 and supplying Gibson with alcohol, marijuana, and LSD. What? That's what? terrible. They accuse Miller of physical and emotional abuse and displaying cult-like behavior, allegedly. This okay, so M Miller, I forced the kid to identify as non-binary. Oh my gosh. Apparently this He's forcibly transitioning people. He is forcibly transitioning. Oh my god, is that what he's trying to do now? He's just forcibly transitioning Allegedly. people? No. Uh, the Flash is supposed to be out one year from today? Really? It's going to release next year in June? I thought it was coming out sooner than that. I guess. I don't know. The studio held an emergency meeting about what to do the, to the film since it's deep in post-production. Oh my, they need to just do reshoots and just CGI Grant Gustin's head on everything. That would be great. I think that would be the win. This is just, this is out of control. Yeah, he's not acting again. I can't imagine. He, it's not a, he, they aren't no, acting again. No, I refuse. I'm going to disrespect Them him. Like that not, naval video, I'm like disrespecting the, him. <laughs> you are deliberately disrespecting him. Yep. I said him. Now it's them. Disrespecting nope. them. It's, it's him. Vez. It's... He's it's. not even a person. <laughs> so, this is breaking news. Do you want to cancel the Flash I movie? don't. I'm still going to see it. You got to see Batfleck. Are you interested in seeing that Supergirl thing? Uh, is she in it? Yeah, Supergirl and Batgirl. Oh, or wait, Batwoman the fat Mexican one? <laughs> what? <laughs> right? No, she's just thick. The fat Mexican. No. <laughs> What's wrong with you, piece of garbage? You are a disrespectful human garbage. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. But you're still going to pay them to see it. It's free for me. Right. Well, I also will go to see this movie uh, because I am just a shill. I just want to see Batfleck. Yes, we are Keen's just shills. all right, I guess. 
Keen is amazing. Eh. One of the best. Eh. If not top eh. two. Top two. Batfleck. The only Bale, Bale, Bale and Keen. Pattinson. Pattinson is nothing compared Bad to Pat. Him. Bad Pat. Val Kilmer, though. Val Kilmer. Yeah. No, he's not in the top five. Ezra Miller. Maybe he should maybe he just wants to be Batman. That's why he's upset. They want to be Batman. It wants to be Batman. Anyway, this has been a disrespectful episode of Our Reviews Will Kill You. Yes. If you enjoyed that, please like and subscribe. It truly helps the channel because if you do not like and subscribe, Noob Noob will potentially do this. I'll just keep misgendering you and then forcibly Hurtful. transition you. M macro transactions, yeah. micro transactions, micro aggressions. Macro aggressions <laughs> with your identity. That's brutal. It will beat you with a gender stick. Unfortunate for most. <laughs> and wow. shove it up your bum. Wow. <laughs> as someone who identifies as a tricycle, you yep. would think you'd be more respectful. No, I will spread those cheeks like Moses part of the Red Sea. <laughs> yeah, it'll be biblical. You know what the, you know what the Catholics don't like? Yeah. Gays, probably. <laughs> According to the Bible, I'm just following it. <laughs> oh, you're just a Bible thumper yep. now. Yeah. Anyway, check out our full-length audio podcast for this nonsense and more. You can catch it anywhere. You can catch podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those great places as we are apparently on to the next one until they cancel us. <laughs>